Here you can see in the articulated skeleton, this medial along the midline of this skeleton, this is medial and away from the midline is the lateral. So this is medial and this is lateral. Going to teach you the side determination of all limb bones, that is of upper limb and the lower limb. For determining the side, whether it belongs to right side or left side, you have to aware of what is superior and what is inferior. The, things, the one thing which will differentiate the superior and inferior, one will which differentiate anterior, posterior and one will differentiate the medial and the lateral. Now start with the upper limb bones and this is clavicle. Like any other long, long bones, it has got two in and one intervening shaft. But this is the only long bone that lies horizontally. So we should hold like this, not this way. We have to hold like this. Quadrangular end should face medially. So this is medial and this is lateral. Medial two-third. Medial two-third convexity should face anteriorly. So this is anterior and this is posterior. Now regarding superior and inferior, the inferior surface have one tubercle and rough ridge. So this is inferior surface. So this is left clavicle. Now coming to scapula. A scapula is a flat triangular bone. So it has got one apex which should face inferiorly. So this is superior and this is inferior. A spinous process, one projecting out a spinous process should face posteriorly. So this is anterior and this is posterior. One depression or cavity, glenoid fossa, should face laterally. So this is lateral and this is medial. So this is right scapula. Coming to humerus. Globular end or round end should face superiorly. So this is superior and this is inferior. Again the globular in should face medially. So this is medial and this is lateral. There is one sulcus at the upper end and two tubercle. The smaller one is lesser tubercle and the larger one is greater tubercle. Intertubercular <coughs> sulcus and the lesser tubercle should face anteriorly. So this is anterior and this is posterior. So this is left humerus. Coming to ulna. Broad hook like end should face superiorly. So this is superior and this is inferior. Again the concavity of the hook should face anteriorly. So this is anterior and this is posterior. It has got two in and one intervening shaft. And this is the medial of the two forearm bone. And the sharpest border should face laterally. So, this is of right side. Coming to radius. Disc like in should face superiorly. So, this is superior and this is inferior. 
one tuberosity at the upper end and the surfaced border should face medially as this is the lateral of the two forearm bones so the tuberosity and the surfaced border should face medially so this is medial and this is lateral one prominent tubercle at the lower end should face posteriorly so this is anterior and this is posterior so this is left radius now coming to lower limb bones this is hip bone wing like broad end should face superiorly so this is superior and this is inferior cuff shaped depression should face laterally so this is lateral and this is medial at the lower end as we are seeing there is one last foramen quadrangular a small part of the bone should face anteriorly called pubis and there is water drop or tear drop like tuberosity should face posteriorly so this is anterior and this is posterior so this is right hip bone coming to femur globular in should face superiorly so this is superior and this is inferior again the globular in should face medially so this is medial and this is lateral convexity of the shaft should face anteriorly so this is anterior and this is posterior so this is left femur this is patella it is also a triangular bone the apex should face inferiorly so this is inferior and this is superior there is articular facet it should face posteriorly so articular facet should face posteriorly and convexity should face anteriorly so this is anterior and this is posterior among the two articular facet on the posterior surface the medial one is larger so i can't hold like this in this way this become lateral so this way that the apex should face inferiorly articular facet should face posteriorly and the medial of the two articular facet will be larger so this is left patella thank you coming to tibia broad end should face superiorly so this is superior and this is inferior one last tuberosity at the upper end should face anteriorly so this is anterior and this is posterior as this is the medial of the two leg bones and one bony projection is coming out at the lower end called medial malleolus should face medially so this is medial and this is lateral so this is left, left tibia coming to fibula like any other long bone it has got two in and one intervening shaft the quadrangular in 
and one is flattened in quadrangular in so face superiorly so this is superior and this is inferior as this is the lateral of the two leg bones so the bony projection which is called lateral malleolus the smooth surface should face laterally so this is lateral and this is medial again at the lower end there is one articular surface and one groove articular surface should face anteriorly and groove posteriorly so this is anterior and this is posterior so this is right fibula coming to calcaneum it has got multiple articular facet the surface containing multiple articular facet should face superiorly so this is superior and this is inferior in this case we will call this is dorsal and this is plantar one single articular facet should face anteriorly so this is anterior and this is posterior self like projection called as tentacular talli should face medially so this is medial and this is lateral so this is right calcaneum coming to talus this is talus bone there is concavo convex concavo convex articular facet should face superiorly so this is superior and this is inferior one globular articular facet should face anteriorly so this is anterior and this is posterior again globular in should face medially so this is medial and this is lateral we can't hold like this not like this in this case it is facing laterally so this is medial and this is lateral so this is left talus and one thing very worth mentioning as we become aware of and that which side it belongs that right or left we should hold that bone in that hand only this is very important thank you